celebrating Africa's rich cultural heritage. The election petition tribunal sitting in Oshogbo, the Oshan state capital, over the outcome of 2022 governorship election has again adjourned sitting to 13th of October 2022. Against this background, the pre hearing into the petition filed by the El Progressives Congress and its candidate, Governor Goi Gawitola, commenced today and is going to last it for 14 days, 18th of October 2022. The leader of the Council of Progressive Congress, Lasson Sanusi San, said today's proceedings seek the commencement of the hearing of the petition after the necessary preliminary done before proper hearing. Sanusi noted that the adjournment is part of the rudiment stages of hearing after different motion has been filed, said there is need to react to those processes and for those that file the processes need 48 hours to react. Sanusi further said that the council to the petitioners and the respondents had agreed on the time for examination, cross-examination, and the examination of the witnesses so as to ensure that the hearing is not unnecessarily prolonged. It is part of the rudimentary stages of hearing. You hear there are motions filed here and there. A court does not hear a process filed by a party without affording the other party to react. There are some of the processes filed today. There are some of the processes filed yesterday and served last night or this morning. There will be need to react to those ones. And they, those who file such processes will still need about 48 hours to react by way of reply. So when all these things are taken together, that is when the tribunal will be competent to take argument and then adjourn to the hearing of the main petition and then fix date for the petition. The Council to the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Dr. Alex Nzion San, drawn the attention of the court to a judgment delivered last Friday by the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja, which notified the candidacy of Governor Boiga Itola, says the petitioner's nomination having been voided, the petition cannot continue in the absence of valid petition. He maintained that tribunal has ordered PDP to make the judgment available formally instead of oral application. Also said there are two applications on ground to be attended to next adjournment date. The notice uh, that is relating to the judgment delivered last Friday that this petitioner's uh, nomination having been voided. The petition cannot continue in the absence of a valid petitioner. But um, the only challenge was that the judgment was not available for us to make that oral application. And the court, the tribunal, ordered that uh, we should put it formally. We tend to do so. We are already filing it right now because we've got the judgment. We file it alongside. We had other two applications before this one. Those are all to be taken on the 13th of October, uh, challenging uh, many, many things on the petitions. We will come up for argument on that day. The counsel to the Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Paul Ananaba, said six motions have been filed today and will be attended to next adjournment date. Pre uh, hearing began, and um, the six motions that have been filed will be taken on the 13th of October and um, uh, pre-hearing will continue to that day. Um, I, I, everyone should have his gunpowder dry until those motions are taken and thereafter uh, pre-trial will go on and conclude and then a date will be fixed for hearing. ABN TV News, Ocean State, Nigeria.